this is the tour of the orc this is a milling machine I've been working on for almost two years now it's almost done got a few little odds and ends to do yet but I'll start with the enclosure that is made from the trays that go underneath the cages in a pullet chicken house there's one down here on the floor they're about nine foot long 20 inches wide eighth inch thick they're probably made out of a uh, recycled PVC pipe because some of them come uh, some of them are green and white and gray so, and the stand itself for the mill was made out of uh, the legs that hold the cages up and I'm running Mach 3 the control panel is uh, I designed it to be like a modular system so if I ever have to change something down the road or I want to rearrange something I just have to replace one panel instead of the entire thing and that's so I can do upgrades later on, stuff like that. And down below here is where the coolant is. I pull out this drawer like this. There's a screen. Down inside is just a regular old utility pump. On the front here, there's two double sliding doors, like that. They turned out really well. And you can see, I just used uh, regular drawer slides for that. <coughs> The mill started out originally as a uh, Rung Fu 31 mill I got from uh, MSC probably like 10 years ago. It started out as a round column mill. The only thing left is basically the, the base, the saddle, and the table. The stepper motors on the X and Y are, pretty, are off of a uh, old embroidery machine the spindles from a uh, Victor uh, knee tight mill got that from the scrapyard uh, the column itself is uh, made from a six inch square box tubing with some uh, one inch by two inch uh, welded to the front of that and then gusseted there's 30, uh, let's see, there's 30 millimeter linear rails. There's the, the whole head assembly is counterweighted by an 85 pound lead weight that is inside the column. That's just a uh, four inch box tubing, about 16 inches long, filled with lead. There's a stepper motor up on the very top. And there's the there's the timing belt. It's a two to one gear reduction from the uh, stepper motor. It's a roton ball screw. And on the front here, that is the cover for the uh, electric power draw bar I made up. Just flip this lever here. Flip this one, and there's the draw bar. <coughs> just, it's just a Ryobi cordless electric impact wrench. Saw another YouTube video of a guy that made one. I thought oh, I like that. No air compressor to make noise. Uh, the motor is a 
three phase 3400 RPM uh, two horse two horsepower motor the timing the spindle is driven by an HDT uh, 8 millimeter timing belt the pulleys I made but they, they were the biggest pain of butt. My fourth axis wasn't quite strong enough, so I had to sit there for three hours and loosen and tighten a nut while it machined the machined the uh, slots there. We'll go around to the back here. Oh, I almost forgot. On the front here is a probe. The probe goes right in here, like that. And then this, the ends here, I got alligator clips. They just clip on your tool or your part or your touch plate. And I'll go around here to the back. On the back, there's an oiler. That came off the same mill that the spindle came off of. Uh, it's just a regular household water filter. The hoses are a uh, this is just a washing machine hose. This is just a dishwasher hose. No hose clamps. Everything just tightens by hand. The cabinet is a uh, 1950s style steel cabinet, just utility cabinet. That also came from the chicken house. Looked crappy, I had to strip it and repaint it. But, and I had to cut two inches off the back. It was originally 12 inches deep. I cut it down to about eight. PC is on the bottom using gecko drivers. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit better. Using gecko uh, 203Vs. The breakout board is a PMDX 125. Some solid state relays, fuses. terminal strips, more fuses, more fuses, pretty much all the fuses and connectors and all the solid state relays came out of an old uh, candy wrapping machine. That transformer is for the electric power draw bar. I just, rewound, I just cut the secondaries off and rewound it for 18 volts with a rectifier for DC. There's the variable frequency drive that runs the spindle motor. And there's some transformers that plug in here for lights and 12 volts for the solid state relays. And we'll go around here to the front and run a quick program here. Okay. Start. It's going up for a tool change. This is an engraving program, so I'm not going to have the spindle running. It just originally was for a drag engraver. <laughs> Some of my friends ought to recognize that. That's the that's the engraving. And I originally named it the Orc because I thought it was going to be an ugly looking mess. Seeing what I was using for materials and the uh, 
these knee type spindles are rather just look gnarly and things sticking out I thought it looked like an orc and all these engravings over here are from a game I used to play called Sacred 2 there's one there there's a couple on the sides of the mill That's about it. I'm just gonna pause that. It's gonna probably run another ten minutes or so. Hmm. Okay, and that is the orc. Not quite done yet, but pretty darn close. Thanks for watching.